Hi, I'm Felix Zhang from Reality Labs Meta. And today, I'm here to show you the future of immersive web development. If you are not familiar with the term immersive web, imagine this. You're browsing the web, shopping for sneakers. You find a pair you like, click a button, and boom, you're in a fully immersive environment with the shoe right in front of you. You can pick it up, see every detail up close, and measure your foot for the perfect fit and try every colorway, all from your living room. Once you've made your decision, you can add it to your card and seamlessly return to the regular web page to finish checkout. Don't believe me? You can experience this today at mr.puma.com. And that is the magic of immersive web experiences. We start from a familiar web page, and the same web page can tap into the full potential of XR devices, creating rich, immersive worlds all around you. This is possible because of WebXR, a web standard that brings immersive capabilities directly to browsers using the same technologies everyone knows, JavaScript, HTML, and CSS. With WebXR, you get access to hardware-accelerated graphics, precise tracking, versatile input, and spatial awareness, all while staying in the familiar web development ecosystem. The potential here is limitless, which is why we've been on a journey to make immersive web development accessible to everyone. Two years ago, we launched the Immersive Web Emulator, a browser extension that lets developers test WebXR experiences without a headset. Last year, the Immersive Web Emulation Runtime reimagined emulation as flexible JavaScript libraries able to run in any environment of your choice no extension required. And this year, I'm excited to introduce the Immersive Web SDK, a complete collection of frameworks and tools that makes building immersive web experiences as approachable as traditional web development. We built it on 3.js, the most popular JavaScript 3D library, paired with a high-performance entity component system implementation that scales from simple prototype to complex applications. But what really sets this SDK apart is our highly automated workflow designed for web developers, alongside our pre-built interactions that can save you months of development time. Let's get into it. This interactive CLI will ask you some questions and walk you through the setup. In just under a minute, you will have a complete development environment. The project structure is clean and intuitive, your code lives in source, 3D assets in public, spatial UI panels in UI, and if you choose it, metaspatial for visual scene composition. This structure clearly separates different parts of your project, enabling smooth collaboration among developers, designers, and tech artists. Plus, we've configured a production-ready build pipeline and dev server just for you. Jump in and start creating. Now watch this. I'll launch the local development server. And here is what you get, a fully immersive WebXR application, virtual hands, grabbable objects, spatial UI, all in the browser. But here is the game changer. You can develop without a headset. Our emulation runtime automatically activates on localhost. Same code, two experiences, immersive in VR, emulated on desktop. Anyone with a laptop can start building for the immersive web today. Now that we have our development environment running, let's build our sneaker configurator. We will start with scene composition. You can do this entirely in code with 3D models and JavaScript. But for those who prefer a visual approach, we've integrated Meta Spatial Editor. Yes, the very same editor you might already be using for spatial SDK development. When developers write components in code, our build system automatically generates definitions that the spatial editor understands. So you can visually attach behaviors like grabbable or interactive to any object and configure their properties all without touching code. Now here is the cool part. Watch what happens when I import a shoe model and make it grabbable. The moment I save, our development server detects changes and automatically regenerates scene files instantly reflecting changes in your app. Now, whether you build scenes visually or in code, 
you can take advantage of our robust asset optimization pipeline. When you build for production, we automatically compress meshes and textures using industry-leading algorithms. The result? Smaller downloads, faster loading times, and better runtime performance. You focus on creating great content, and we will make it performant for the web. Now for user interfaces, traditionally a major challenge in immersive development, requiring custom layout logic and heavy performance optimization. We addressed both of these by partnering with Bila Bolenda, creator of UIKit, to reimagine spatial UI development. Together, we co-developed a spatial UI authoring language called UIKit ML. As the name suggests, UIKit ML lets you author UI panel using HTML-like syntax and CSS, technologies you already know. We're also launching a VS Code plugin that shows real-time preview of the UI panel as you type. Watch as I create a color selector panel. Every change I make in a UIKit ML file instantly appears in a preview panel. Pretty cool, right? Now let's make this UI interactive. The SDK surfaces the interpreted UI using a document concept inspired by DOM documents. You can use familiar web APIs like get element by ID and query selectors to access elements just like you would for 2D web pages. To simplify interactions, we've integrated a universal pointer event system. Desktop clicks, Axer control arrays, and hand tracking all generate spec compliant pointer events. So when I add a click handler to change the shoe color, it automatically works everywhere. One UI definition, one set of event handlers, infinite interaction possibilities. This is how we make spatial UI as straightforward as traditional web development. All right. Now that we have our UI working, let's add physical interactions. We've included a number of pre-built systems to handle common interactions so that you don't have to write your own. For example, let's make the shoe that's hovering on the table grabbable. We can use the one-hand grabbable component for proximity-based grabbing. When you reach close enough, you can grab the shoe by pressing down the grip button. Or we can use distance grabbable to grab objects from afar. Point your selection ray at the shoe, press grip, and watch it fly towards your controller or into your hand. To take this experience even further, let's add movement with our local motion system. Add a local motion environment component to your scene, and users can immediately teleport and walk around. The system is performant and fully configurable. We've also built in comfort features like local motion vignetting with adjustable intensity levels to reduce motion sickness. Everything can be tweaked to match your users' preferences. And these are just the beginning. You can try our systems for spatial audio, physics integration, seeing understanding today, with more to come very soon. These production-ready systems let you build rich, interactive experiences without reinventing the wheel. So we've gone from a simple web page to a fully immersive product configurator with visual scene composition, spatial UI, grabbing interactions, and local motion, all in just 10 minutes. We're incredibly excited to see what amazing experiences you will create with the Immersive Web SDK. Welcome to the future of web development, where every web page can become a world.